At this point, the Netflix logo is iconic. Everyone knows it, it's sleek, it's modern, and they really did a good job of figuring out how to find the aesthetic for that at-home cinema style. But I'm sure as a designer, you've wondered, how do I make that arched effect? And in the past, you might really need a program like Adobe Illustrator to do this, but not anymore, because with just a click and a couple seconds, you can do this easily in Kittle. So go ahead and sign up for free using the link down in the description description and then let's dive in to see exactly how it works in Kittle. You don't need to download anything. Kittle works right in your browser so you just need some Wi-Fi to get started and once that's done let's dive in. Okay so here is the Netflix logo that I've just pulled off of the internet and so we want this curve effect. That's really all we want with a nice sleek sans serif condensed style font. So let's jump into Kittle right here and see how we can do that. So what we're going to do first is go over to the text settings in this panel here and add text and then what we can do is double click in and type Netflix just so that you understand uh, how the how the look is going to be when we apply this effect so we're gonna scale this up here put it here in the middle and then we need to select a different font right we need that sans serif condensed style font so we're gonna be using Vabus new which is already the style that the Netflix logo uses it's this kind of box office style cinema looking uh, font already. And so what we need to do next is increase a little bit of letter spacing. Let's go with 30. I think that looks pretty good. It looks like a nice amount of distance between each letter. Let's zoom in here so we can see exactly what happens. And all we're really doing is hitting this distort transformation. So when I click this distort transformation, all of these little nodes, all of these little anchor points pop up right here. And what you can do is grab any one of these points and start distorting your text so I can move it up I can move it down I can move it around anything like that you can have complete control over warping your text and then you can use these side acre points to make the curves even more exaggerated so that's all we're gonna be doing to make this effect so let's go backward you can hit command Z and then we'll hit edit transfer and all we're gonna do is grab the center point right here in the bottom and lift it up just a bit and boom you can tell already it looks like the Netflix logo in just seconds we have the same effect and maybe we want to increase this little curve on the left and right so we can grab the left point drag it to the left grab the right point drag it to the right and it just evens out that curve a little bit then you could even grab the far left and far right anchor points and make the curve even more exaggerated if you want to and that's all we really have to do to get that curved Netflix logo text effect so let's go ahead and change the color. So let's go with a more kind of like lightish red color like Netflix uses. That looks like it's pretty close. Again, I'm not gonna do an exact one for one, but let's bring up the original logo and see how close we are. So if we go over, we can see how close we are. So here's the original and I think it's pretty close. Obviously there's some differences, but what we're really working on here is the effect. So I think the effect is what we've nailed pretty easily. Now, if you double click in and type something else, this same effect is going to take place, which is really cool. So now that you've already applied the Netflix curve text effect, you could type in anything. So we can type in something like Kittle design. And then once we're done typing that in and click out, boom, the effect is already applied. So it's just that simple. And in seconds, you can have that Netflix curved text effect. Well, that's all there is to it. You can become a master at type manipulation with just a click. And if you want to learn more cool tips and tricks, you can check out one of these two videos linked here on my right. You can select this playlist right here in this card, and it's going to take you to a playlist of videos. Thank you so much for watching and for using Kittle. Until next time, create magic.